America is suffering from the Biden Soros crime spree, and we need to bring America back into a period of law and order. <laughs> Welcome. This is Dr. David D. Schein for a special edition of Saving America. And boy, does America and Americans need saving at this time. We need to bring back the death penalty to make sure people understand you have things. The state will take care of you and promptly. In Pennsylvania, we watch for two weeks this crazy clown show as this uh, one fellow just kept slipping in and out of uh, so-called secured uh, rings of investigators and searchers. He should never have been allowed into a low security facility. He was convicted of a horrendous murder. He stabbed his girlfriend to death by stabbing her 38 times in front of her little children. This person should have been taken directly from the courthouse to the death chamber and put to death. This should never have happened. In the meantime, I understand the estimate is, is the two weeks that he got to party and run around in Pennsylvania cost the taxpayers over a million dollars that they're never going to get back. Yes. What kind of justice is this? What, how does this work for anybody in this society? In the meantime, we have the stunning news that a Los Angeles sheriff deputy was simply sitting in his car, not doing anything harmful to anybody, not committing any horrible racial incident, was shot to death. And that to me is a hate crime. He was in uniform, he was in a police car. Where has our society gone? How degraded is our society that someone would even think of doing this? In the good old days, you killed a policeman, the likelihood of your even being brought in for trial was pretty low because generally you were shot to death as part of the arrest. And I don't mean to suggest vigilante justice and I don't mean to suggest careless police action, but I believe the police are afraid to shoot to kill and that's a bad thing when you have really bad people with guns out there running around. Another hate crime. Two 17-year-olds stupid enough to record a deliberate crash where they ran over a gentleman riding a bicycle. He's 64 years old. He's a retired police chief from the L.A. area. He was at his retirement home in Las Vegas. And these clowns recording. <laughs> There's no excuse here. This is first degree murder. If it turns out the way it appears to be, death penalty time, folks. Let's set an example. Let's make sure that the death penalty is provided quickly and with authority so that we do not have the situation where people are not afraid of being prosecuted for crimes, including a deliberate, thoughtless, awful murder. This is the America that Biden and Soros have brought us. Now, why do we say that? Because George Soros, for some reason, he's a billionaire, um, came to the United States, has been funding anti-American causes for years. In particular, he is uh, accused of having helped about a dozen anti-American, anti-civilization DAs across many American cities. These people have been soft on crime. They've been letting people out without bail for serious crimes. They've been reducing crimes. They've been refusing to prosecute crimes. Uh, some of them have said, oh, well, if you shoplift less than a thousand dollars, don't worry about it. We're not going to prosecute it. Enough is enough. And people need to know who these cats are and they need to start voting them out of office. This is far beyond any rational situation that the United States and its hardworking taxpaying citizens should be tolerating this. And when you use a gun in a crime, 
I want you to stay in jail. No bail. Use a gun in a crime. No bail. Kill someone, get the death penalty. Right now, people stay on death row for as much as 20 years with endless appeals. As I have previously recommended, one year maximum. You can't get it done in one year. You can't prove that you shouldn't get the death penalty in one year. Tough luck. Execution. America deserves it. The American taxpayer should stop providing hotel rooms for horrible convicted people, including the fellow from Pennsylvania we mentioned a minute ago. Biden has doubled down on the crime problem with his Marxist supporters and open borders with criminals pouring in. They are trafficking women and children. They are flooding our streets with fentanyl and terrorists. Enough is enough. Stores are closing in crime-ridden cities across the West Coast. My advice would be to have guards with shotguns at the entrances. Hey, it's simple. Would you like to leave with that merchandise? Great. Go back and pay for it. If you don't want to pay for it, you can get shot with a shotgun. It will be painful. It might kill you. It might not. But you need to make those kind of choices, and that is how to end these ridiculous crime sprees that we're seeing. And of course, when you get to the courthouse, when you've been arrested for shoplifting, you get a record from it. Whether it's $5 or $5,000, you get a record, and most people should be getting at least jail time, if not prison time. It's time to protect Americans who are hardworking, who are paying a lot of taxes, and deserve far better than what we're getting. What universe makes sense for any political party to be soft on crime? This insanity has not sunken in yet, apparently, on a lot of people in the electorate. Otherwise, they would stop voting for these awful people who are not prosecuting crime and protecting us, especially in our big cities. In the meantime, we've got anti-American scumballs running our local and federal justice systems. They're deliberately wasting time and resources on victimless so-called election crimes. While Americans of all ages and races are living in fear of violent crime and theft, let's put the resources where they belong on criminals, real criminals, people who affect everyday American life. Come on, Americans, vote out anyone in government who is soft on crime. Restore safety to our streets and our schools. Thank you for listening to this special episode of Saving America with your host, Dr. David D. Shine. Always happy to have your feedback. If you've enjoyed this, subscribe on your favorite platform.